they have reportedly split after less than one year of marriage. And a heavily pregnant Jacqueline Joseph broke her silence after her rumored split from Dan Osborne after pictures resurfaced of him cozying up to Love Island star Gabby Allen at the Holistic Boot Camp in Marbella. The former EastEnders actress, 25, posted a video to her Instagram stories in which she urged fans to focus on something positive Sporting eyelash extensions, the brunette beauty opened the video with guys, let's talk about something positive Can you all vote for me please BBC EastEnders and everything EastEnders but mainly me Thanks. This comes weeks after ex Toei Hunk Dan, 26, was spotted putting on a cozy display with blonde beauty Gabby, who has recently split from Beau Marcel Somerville with the hunk hitting back at fans who brought up his friendship with Gabby. The shirtless hunk was seen chatting to a bikini clad Gabby aboard a boat, with Stephanie Davis also on board. There is no suggestion that Dan and Gabby are romantically involved. After Dan posted a photo with his two children, one fan commented on his cozy display with Gabby. Hitting back, he wrote, Cozy with another woman. I am speaking and laughing with a friend. But of course, a man and a woman can't be friends in this day and age, can they also? You don't know me, don't know how I act. A source close to Gabby told Mail in Line, nothing happened between them. Gabby was with Marcel at this point, and Gabby had nothing to do with the breakup of Dan and his wife. Mail in Line has also contacted a representative for Dan for comment. Dan, who also has three year old daughter Ella with Jacqueline, is living with friends following a stay at the Holistic Boot Camp in Marbella, which caused an array of rows with the actress, insiders tell The Sun. The source said Dan and Jacqueline are on a break right now. She's living at a friend's house. When he went away to the boot camp in Marbella, it caused all sorts of rows because she's 31 weeks, almost 32 weeks pregnant. She wants him around. They still want things to work out, but they're living apart right now. A downcast Dan was also pictured moving his belongings into a friend's home in photos obtained by the Sun. The former reality star, who was clad in a vest and shorts looked somber as he carried his possessions from the car into the house, with the couple's new puppy Storm by his side Just last week, Jacqueline addressed ongoing rumors surrounding their love, saying, we know we're happy, and that's all that matters I think we are past being able to argue about little stuff when you have kids, that becomes the main priority Daniel's an incredible dad. Shortly before the news surfaced, Jacqueline admitted her current pregnancy has not been as straightforward as her first by recounting a worrying visit to hospital amid concerns that her unborn baby wasn't moving In a post recently added to her Jacqueline's world vlog, she revealed, I went to the hospital last week just because I wasn't feeling as much movement In my last vlog I said it was a completely different pregnancy altogether, which is fine, but I just wanted to make sure because I wasn't feeling the baby move as much She added, we did a lot of tests and they did send me for a scan and said that my bump was looking quite small For 30 weeks I was measuring 26, which is quite scary. I didn't really know what to think, but it turns out everything's okay I just need to keep an eye on things, but everything's going really well 
Jacqueline recently claimed that said she's not feeling pressured to get back in shape once the newborn arrives, even though Dan had offered to help when the time is right The actress confessed the start of her pregnancy was anything but plain sailing, admitting the first 16 weeks were horrendous I was being sick almost every morning she told Closer. With Ella, apart from not having periods, I wouldn't have known I was pregnant until I was six months along I'm doing nothing but eating McDonald's and I'm definitely not doing any exercise, but then again, I am very active day to day I won't put any pressure on myself, but I do want to feel fit again Daniel said he'll help me when the time comes The award-winning actress tied the knot with former reality TV star Dan in June 2017 after four years together and a two-year engagement Speaking to OK about her wedding day, Jacqueline said, I loved my makeup. I felt like I was a Snapchat filter on the day. Daniel always says he prefers my hair up and out of my face, although that wasn't the reason I wore it that way, the dress had to be seen in all its glory. The actress added that she set down strict rules for her guests, explaining, I said beforehand that if anyone wears white they were going to get kicked out. As for her emotions on her big day, she admitted that marriage has caused her to look at her long-term beau in another light, explaining, it feels like we've fallen in love all over again Dan was equally enamored when speaking about his new wife, explaining, Jacqueline's the woman I want to spend my whole life with, Jacqueline already felt like my wife, so it made complete sense to make her my wife Delamere Manor in Cheshire, the stunning mansion where the pair tied the knot, was once owned by Gary Barlow, who sold the stately home in 2006 for £7 £25 million having happily lived there for a decade The stately home even features a nod to the patient's crooner with an opulent gold-themed room named the Barlow Suite The couple started dating in 2013, shortly after Dan ended his relationship with ex Megan Tomlin while she was pregnant with their son Teddy, now three However their relationship came under scrutiny in 2015 after the father of two was heard threatening to stab Megan in a recording obtained by the son Dan insisted he would never have hurt his ex and was simply speaking out of anger I never physically hurt anyone I said some things in anger in the worst time of my life That's it. He tweeted If everyone on earth had their arguments recorded I am sure 95% of you would listen back and hear things you obviously never meant Sick at the time, Jacqueline insisted she was disgusted with her fiancé and said she didn't think she would ever forgive him for what he said, although the couple remained together They announced Jacqueline's pregnancy in August of that year and baby Ella arrived in February 2015 